What's up, guys? It's Red Infamy with GamerFanation.com, and I'm here with Trent, my new friend, because he showed me a really cool, fascinating, beautiful game in all of those adjectives, which is Armello. So tell us more about Armello. We got a chance to see PlayStation debut it on their website as far as a trailer and everything. So tell us more about this title. Yeah, sure. So um, Armello is a digital card and board game. So it's essentially a board game brought to life. That's what we try to do. So if you enjoy sitting around with your friends, playing tabletop games, stuff like that, then you're going to enjoy sitting in front of your PS4 or at your PC or Mac or whatever. You can play online against friends, and you're basically, as a hero, you're trying to take down the king of Armello and become king or queen for yourself because he's dying of this dark force called the Rot. And so, yeah, you're out on a quest to become king or queen of Armello before any of the other heroes. Because this darkness that's happening um, throughout the land, he's, these banes are spawning all around the place, and these are creatures of pure rot, like these sort of, like, demon birds. So you'll be walking around vanquishing them, but if they happen to kill you, you'll, like, you can actually get the rot yourself. So it's a bit like the dark side of the force, you know? Okay. And you can actually lean into it. One of the victory types is the rot victory, where you can, like, just lean into the force and become corrupted yourself and beat the king at his own game, you know, be the shadiest dude on the board, right? So you have an option to be good or bad. Or be bad. Yeah. Okay, so tell us more about the gameplay and how it all plays out bringing a board game to life. Yeah, sure. So you have three action points and that dictates how you can move around the board and you're basically just trying to move from quest to quest, becoming as powerful as possible, as quickly as possible, so that you can become king or queen, like, you know, smash through the palace and take on the king before any of the other heroes. So you'll be exploring dungeons for treasures and followers. Um, you'll be, like, slaying these banes across the board. And it's also, it's kind of like Game of Thrones meets Kung Fu Panda. So you'll be, like, playing with other, hero, you know, heroes politically, you know, like playing, like, treachery like treacherous cards and things like that those political maneuvers to try and uh, oust them from their right to the throne now I've seen is there's different classes but with those classes I've seen there's different animals like we've seen like a rat where he's yep. kind of like an assassin and things of that nature Tell us more about any other animals and their different class types that make them unique. Yeah, sure. So we have uh, four clans within Armello. There's the rat, the rabbit, the bear, and the wolf. So the rat clan, they're really like our, our political... Yeah, clans, yeah. So they're like our, our political, you know, treacherous guys and girls. And then we have the bear clan um, who are like our spell casters, you know, our magic types. The wolves are our fighters, sort of like the Starks from Game of Thrones. And then we have... Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then we have, we have the rabbits and they're like the all-rounders they're like the socialites the artisans um, and we have there's a male and female hero for each which will be available at launch and they have different unique powers for each hero now you showed us a new one yeah. that's been yeah. released at e3 so mm -hmm. tell us more about that character and its name. Yeah, sure. So um, here at E3, we're showing off the PS4 version and all the new assets and everything, but we're also debuting our new hero, the second hero for the Bear Clan, which will be available with a PS4 um, release and full release on PC, Mac, and Linux. And his name's Brun Oakbreaker. And so he's the second... Yeah, Oakbreaker. So he's the second um, hero of the Bear Clan. He's this really cool character. He's on screen at the moment. He's a bit of a, a bit of a brute, so to speak. Um, he's not really a strong spellcaster like a lot of the other bears, but he uses magic to ampli um, amplify his fighting abilities. And so what you'll be doing is casting spells to buff your fight so that you can sort of just roll in like a big wrecking ball around the board. And it's, you know, the sort of the backstory is that the Bear Clan didn't really approve of him coming on this quest, but he might be their only chance at, you know, taking the throne. So they're, he's an, they're Is he kind of unorthodox as far as how he is? Yeah, yeah, totally. Like, totally the type of, you know, in the in the lore, like the type of magic that he uses, scar casting, um, is just not, not at all cool with the Bear Clan. <laughs> So, is there any random events that happens in the game? Since it's a board game, is there any kind of randomness that happens that may throw you off your quest and you have to kind of get back on the right path? Totally. So that's what Armello is all about. That's where the mastery comes from. It comes from some, you know, when things don't go your way, dealing with it. There's random elements from the dice, the way that you draw cards, everything. That's that's really what we're leaning into. It's really for those people that like twisting the odds in their favor, you know, and fine-tuning things. The mastery in the game comes from, you know getting the cards that you want and making the odds turn out in your, you know, your favor. Yeah, because I see there's a lot of dice, and I never seen a game where there's, like, tons of dice, so that's pretty cool that whatever gets rolled, you said, depending on the time of day and such, that it could go in your favor yeah. or maybe go against you? Yeah, exactly. Spot on. Very right, cool. So when will we see our Mellow? So our Mellow is going to be released on PS4, um, PC, Mac, and Linux in September. Awesome. So it's coming soon. So everyone... Check out Armello. It looks beautiful. 
And for more of our Gamer Fit Nation news, go to GamerFitNation.com. And this is Red Infamy E3 2015. See you soon. 